Hi dear friends welcome to top education in this session we will learn banking operation part 3 or we can say stage 3 that is lending banker if we divide this three stage we can clearly understand banking operations easily so here banking operations third stage we have lending banker lending banker refers to a bank which gives loans to customers there are many types of loans which are given by a bank which are loan cash credit overdraft bill discounted letter of credit and many more etc so guys here loan may be secured loan or unsecured loan here loan is a lump sum money for a certain period of time so lump sum money means a huge amount for a particular of years more than 10 years it may be so here also we need security and unsecured loans also we have secured loans means here the banking company will take properties or any other security there also we have divided two types of securities which is primary security and collateral security primary security means he is giving his own land for the loan but in secondary in collateral security what happens he is giving third party third party guarantee so that is known as collateral securities unsecured loans unsecured loans is given to the students for the education purpose or if the bank has a good relationship with the customer so there are the various loans offered by bank in india they are personal loans personal loan this may be the bank has a good relationship with the customer so he is giving home loans also here they don't have some securities then also they give a loan bank loan against property here also they will give but a certain period of like a small smaller scalar only educational loan also is given to students because they are students and they cannot have any land and all so they are given vehicle loan also is normal nowadays every nowadays securities are not too more important but few banking operations has an habit of taking securities and all so here what we learn in loan loan is a huge amount for a uh, long period of time and there are secured loans and unsecured loans secured loans we have two types that is secured loans we have two types of securities that is primary security and collateral security and then we have unsecured loans also there are various types of loan like home loan land loan vehicle loan educational loan bank loan against property and all so these are the types of loans now let's come to cash credit a cash credit is given by a particular bank to a to whom to anyone but he should be able to repay the amount at a particular period of time then only here also the pledging of goods are done like the goods are taken into consideration of the banking system and then the loan is given then the cash credit is given overdraft nowadays every bank every business organization has a current account so the current account holder has a special facility of overdraft now myself i have to pay to mr x 50000 but in my account there is only 45000 so bank also gives this so i can pay 50000 and pay the 5000 afterwards so that is known as overdraft bill discounting and purchases bank grants advances to the customers by discounting bills of exchange the amount after deducting the interest from the instrument is credited in the account of the customer in this form of lending the interest is received by the banker in advance so here discounting of bills means i have a bill so that uh, here i have date of uh, 2020 so i will get the amount in 2020 so here what happens i go to banking bank and i will give this what say bills of exchange so he will give cash to me and he will take some percent of interest so that is known as 
bills of discounting letter of credit also here what happen is letter of credit is used by big big companies who are doing import and export where the person the like i am buying from america uh, from x company so i don't have trust with that x company so this and all will happen so here the credit will be given to me the applicant is known as importer issuing bank is importer bank beneficiary is exporter advisory bank is exporters country so there are many people involved in letter of credit now guys let's quickly know what is non performing asset non performing asset is an advance where the interest and the installments or the principal remains overdue now i have an asset but i don't have value of it so that is non profit non performing assets overdue for a period of 90 days guys it is not 180 it is 90 days have a point in respect of loans overdraft crash credit etc like guys i have gave a loan to mr x i am a bank okay so i have gave a loan to mr x and mr x is not able to repay that loan so that is that amount is for me a non performing asset so there are also factors resulting non performing asset and they are internal factor external factor so first let's quickly know internal factor and then we will know external factor first is diversification of fund for expansion Diarif di diversification diversification see i am paying i am uh, investing only in shares and uh, shares the if share losses then whole my amount is went if i am investing in government bonds in life insurance company in shares in property in this that and all then i will not be able to be in loss so that is known as diversification of modernization we have to diversify the amount the banking institution should give amount in different section different parts of society diversion of fund that is also same time or cost over during like what are the duration given to them there should be a particular duration mentioned before them only business failures business failures why this happens because if there is no uh, like proper guarantee we have not taken for that particular person then of course that is a business failure inefficiency in management in efficiency in management means people are not bothered like they are he is doing his activity he is doing his activity no cooperation between banking sector poor credit management and monetary system here pro poor credit means giving to that particular person who is not able to repay the amount that is known as poor credit policy the policy should be mentioned in clearly factors so it should be very helpful external factors so external that is the outside the fa outside which cannot be controlled but the internal factors can be controlled quickly as possible as we can do so first is recession in economy yes we cannot do anything input input or power shortage that also we cannot do price elasticity of inputs that also we cannot do anything exchange rate fluctuation the credit rate will be fluctuating we cannot do anything accidents and natural calamities if earthquake comes who will give you the 10 lakh rupees which you have given on that days change in government policies now government has changed another 5 years another government so there are no that we cannot be controlled by ourselves so these were the external factors which cannot be controlled by ourselves and one more we have here the topic is management of npa how to manage an npa so guys i will be releasing this notes in my whatsapp so guys please have a link with this whatsapp you will get every notes each and every lesson explanation in a detail so guys number is in the below screen so guys please subscribe our channel top education and don't forget to have a uh, don't forget to have a thumbs up button on this 
video. Thank you guys.